morning folks, Christine here and this morning you find us at Smevik Garden Bridge I'm here to change to get a train on platform one to our destination today which is going to be Worcester Fourgate Street I'm so glad I got that right, I've been calling it something else More steps in the morning? Oh, here's our class 172 to take us to Worcester Fourgate Street and yes, I haven't forgotten Morgan this time. We are leaving Rowley Religious. We will be returning to all these lovely stations in later videos when we look more at the history of the area, especially Starbridge Junction. And of course, Kidderminster. No, Morgan, we're not there yet. Morgan, get out of the camera. Come on, get out of the way. I don't know. What do you like? Anyway, here we are, Worcester, Fourgate Street. And this is the Movement Gallery. It used to be a gentleman's toilet, I've discovered. It's now used as a restroom for staff from COVID. And here's one of the reasons why I came to Fourgate Street with this wonderful old signal box, which is now a loco calf. Fantastic. I'm good cup of tea, but too. Oh, more stairs! I know. We get the other platform. I need tea. I really do. Best train spotting spot of the day. You can sit down with a lovely cup of tea and watch the trains go by. at the moment so is he aside all right folks I'm just walking along the line of the railway because I want to get a look at some of the viaducts but I forgot on my right there's a canal or flowing water as some person likes to call it bless her <laughs> shall we have a look there we are That's a lovely, lovely view up there of the railway. The problem is, I'm a little bit lost now. <laughs> Circle, it's really bizarre, see that? Going over the canal here. Right, as usual, I'm lost. I've gone the other way. But we discovered a canal instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. Right folks, we're back on track. This is what I wanted to show you actually. On the station. As you can see, we've got two bridges. And this up here is an abandoned mine. The units have all, the arch has all been turned into units. More storage. There we go. There we are. And our road here. And you can see the bridge bed up there. Which is the, the abandonment section. The abandoned line. It's never done this one. So up there, that's an abandoned line. I was hoping when we came into 
Fourgate Street, we'd film that along the uh, track, but we came in the other way. Which is a shame, really. But it's up there. So it's all full of vegetation now. This is what I really came for, really. So look at this uh, abandoned railway. And a viaduct, this beautiful viaduct, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous viaducts. It's a shame the train didn't come on this part, I was hoping it did. I'm gonna go to a good film from up top there. Runs all along down here and ends here. Don't know if you can see, folks, but there's a line of uh, kind of vegetation on the right going down there, and that's where the abandoned line is. We used to go to the engineering shed. Can't really get any closer because, you know. Right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this explore. Uh, journey to Worcester Fourgate Street and having a look around some of the features here and also having a look at that abandoned railway line that goes from the station up to an old engine shed which is no longer there anymore which is really really cool it's been a gorgeous day remember folks please like the video subscribe if you want to for more content and share and I'll catch you all next time bye